The US and Israel are sure that Iran is preparing to take revenge for the attack on the consulate in Damascus. This was reported by CBS News. According to US intelligence estimates, a retaliatory strike could be carried out by a combination of drones and cruise missiles, the TV channel will not disclose the approximate time of the strikes. However, it is likely that the response to the attack in Damascus will be Israeli diplomatic facilities, sources believe that the strikes could happen next week, the channel also notes that it is still unclear where the drones and missiles will be launched from Iraq, Syria or Iran. The White House has previously expressed concern over the possibility of a full-scale war between Iran and Israel after an airstrike on the Iranian consulate in Syria. Recently, Iran and one of its key proxies vowed to respond to a strike widely attributed to Israel that demolished Iran's consulate in the Syrian capital of Damascus and killed 13, including two Iranian generals. Iran State TV reported that the country's Supreme National Security Council, a key decision-making body, met and decided on a required response to the strike. The report said the meeting was chaired by President Ebrahim Raisi, but provided no further details, the cowardly crime will not go unanswered, Raisi said on his office's website, according to Agence France Presse. Agence France Presse reports that Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, said on his official website that Israel will be punished for the attack against this background, the Israeli authorities decided to suspend the work of 28 diplomatic missions around the world. U.S. CIA warns of risk of war between Iran and Israel. The destruction of the Iranian consulate in Syria, which resulted in the deaths of dozens of senior Iranian officials and generals, risks escalating into a major war in the region. American intelligence CIA warned that within 48 hours, Iran could launch a military operation against Israel, reports Vox News. Earlier, senior officials in Iran reacted to the attack by stating that their country already has every right to respond to Israel's attack on their consulate, a Middle Eastern media outlet reported. Lebanese pan-Arab satellite news channel Al-Mayadeen has stated that Tehran plans a combined drone and missile attack dubbed a rainstorm, launched from its bases targeting strategic sites within Israel. Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Khamenei published threats in Hebrew. With God's help, we will make the Zionists repent for the crime of attacking the Iranian consulate in Damascus, he wrote. On April the 1st, Israel launched a missile strike on the Syrian capital, Damascus. As a result of the attack, the Iranian consulate building was destroyed. One of the casualties in the attack was a senior commander of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Mohammad Reza Zahedi. His name was included in the so-called blacklist of the United Nations, which consists of 15 high-ranking military and political figures of Iran suspected of involvement in Tehran's nuclear and missile programs and who are banned from leaving Iran. His death was arguably the most significant blow to Quds since its then-commander Qasem Soleimani was killed in a US-targeted assassination in January 2020 in Baghdad. After the incident, the Israel Defense Forces announced a call-up of reservists to strengthen its air defense system. This is not the first time that the Israel Defense Forces has struck Syria. In December, the Israeli army eliminated the senior advisor to the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, Syed Razi Musavi. Ukrainian officers complain of receiving Western weapons systems when they're no longer relevant. Unnamed Ukrainian military officials said there is an unfortunate pattern of the West finally sending weapons when they are no longer relevant for the current battlefield dynamics, Politico reported citing sources. While Ukraine's Western allies have provided tens of billions of military aid and equipment, some of the more advanced systems pledged, such as the F-16 fighter jet, have been slow walked and have yet to reach the battlefield. At the same time, Russia has been steadily adapting its defensive capabilities to counter new Western weapons as they arrive. The official explained that Russia has been testing its air defense posture and has likely deployed its radar and anti-air missiles in a manner that would render much of the F-16's offensive capabilities ineffective. After a series of damaging strikes on Russian positions using the long-range Storm Shadow and Scalp missiles, Russia changed its tactics and positions, an official said. Weapons systems become redundant very quickly because they're very quickly countered by the Russians. He said, adding, 
The Russians are always studying. They don't give us a second chance. And they're successful in this. The official said that Ukraine also needs more traditional weapons and munitions, such as the more than a million artillery shells currently being sourced by the Czech-led initiative. Elsewhere, the officials said domestic Ukrainian politics have contributed to the unfavorable battlefield situation. All of these issues are present against the backdrop of a nearly six-month delay in military assistance from the U.S. Zelensky said in late March that Ukraine could soon be forced to retreat without an infusion of aid, which the officials agreed with. Ukraine's ability to hold off the ongoing offensive has been mostly thanks to Russian mistakes on the battlefield, but the official said that Russia will likely be able to penetrate the front line and to crash it in some parts.